Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can create a Java project and how we can run the Java project in Visual Studio Code. We will need to do two things. First, we will need to install the Java compiler and then we need to install Java extension pack. So let's get started with the compiler. First, go to this URL. Here you can find JDK for Linux, Mac OS or Windows. Now click on your specific platform. If you are on Windows, click on Windows and click on this link next to x64 installer and your JDK will be downloaded. JDK contains JVM and other necessary packages to run and develop your Java applications. If you are on Mac or Linux, you can just click on these and download the package according to your requirements. Once JDK is downloaded, just click on open file and the installer will open. If you are asked do you want to allow this app to make changes, click on yes. In this installer wizard, just click on next. This is where your JDK will be installed by default. If you don't have storage left on C drive, just click on change and choose any other directory by clicking this button here. But I want to install this in the default C directory. So I'll just click on close and just click on next here. And now the installation has started. Let's wait till the installation is complete. Once the installation is complete, just click on close. Now go to any directory where you have installed this. In my case, I just default, I just installed it in the default directory. So I'll go to C drive, go inside program, program files, go inside Java folder, go inside JDK 23, go inside the bin folder. Now we need this path because we want to use Java from command prompt and we need to be able to use the Java command from command prompt. So we need to add this path to environment variables. So copy this path by clicking here and press your windows key and type environment variables. Click on environment variables again. Now in here in path, double click this. At the bottom, double click again, paste the path and click on OK. Click on OK again. And finally, you'll be able to use Java from command prompt. Now go to Visual Studio Code and let's see if Java installation is being read or not. So open a new terminal and enter this command Java double dash version. So as you can see, now we can successfully use Java from command prompt. Now to use Java in Visual Studio Code and create Java projects, we need to install an extension in Visual Studio Code that is called Java extension pack. So search for this Java extension pack and you will see extension pack for Java from official Microsoft account. Click on this and click on install. Now this contains a lot of tools for development, auto completion, debugging, testing and so on. So let's wait till the installation is complete and then we will create our first Java project in Visual Studio Code. Once the installation is complete, you can close the terminal, you can close this too and you can close the extensions too. And now here you'll see create Java project by clicking this explorer button or just pressing the shortcut control shift and E. So click on this create Java project and you get these options to choose project type. For now, you can just click on no build tools and go to any directory where you want to create a Java project. Let's create a new folder and I'll call it first Java project. Click on this and then click select project location. Now enter a Java project name and just write first J project itself. And now we have our project ready. Let's try to write some code inside our Java project. So click on the source here, click on app.java. By default, you will have this hello world printed in our public class app. And this is the void main function that is the entry point of our app. To run this, you can just click on this button here on top right that says run Java. Now it will attach a debugger and run this project. So as you can see, hello world is printed. Now we have successfully created your first Java project in Visual Studio Code. Now you can write more code here and create other classes and functions. And yeah, this is how you can set up Java in Visual Studio Code. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.